Hi everyone, so we're on to the dreaded sampling. So I think this is the second lesson in the second pack of the 2024 updated data pack. So we've got some definitions here about the population, which is everything, the census, which is the observes or measures every member, the sample, which is a subset of the population, a sampling unit, a sampling frame, random sampling, important random sampling, that everybody has an equal chance of being selected. You can read these, I don't really need to read them out to you. They're uh, the non-random, and then sampling, and then a finite population where you can count them, an infinite population where you can't count them, like this you see. So this is quite interesting. This is like a bit of a change from the previous year. So I think the, well, like a previous, previous version, but what's there in the last version? So this idea that we've got three different types of sampling if it's a finite population and three different types of sampling if it's for an infinite population but you can also still use it in a finite population so that's quite an interesting little addition there right so it says in order to randomly select your sampling unit from your sampling frame you need a random selection process and this is important because it asks you how you would do it. So, number one, each item is allocated a unique number. We use a random number generator. Um, and we kind of keep going until we've fulfilled our, our frame, our sampling frame. And we ignore any repeats. So for random samples, so we've got one, each item is allocated to a unique number. Two, the preferred method is to use a random number generator. Three, keep going. So <laughs> fill sampling frame. So I might be looking for 50 numbers out of, say, 20,000. And four, because it's a random number generator, you might get the same number up again. So we ignore repeats. So it shows you how to get the random number generator on your calculator. I don't think anybody has a class with it anymore. Uh, right, so let's have a look then. So it says here, a school is organizing a ski trip, only five students per class. Um, so we use a random number generator. So I'm gonna use my random number generator. So uh, I'm going to go with, it's going to be very random, this. Uh, Charlie, Beth, Matt, Mo, Zainab. You can see how random that was. Uh, so you can do your usual random number generator. So how could a random number, how can a random sample, well that's easy, isn't it? It's just numbers on a piece of paper, numbers on pieces. Folded up paper. Drawn from a bag. Or a hat, or a box, or something like that that you can't see. So that's pair, fair enough. Uh, no. Right, so simple random sampling. So name suggests produce random sample. It's only a sampling method that will produce a truly random sample. So assign each item a number, done that. Uh, use a random generator, done that. Ignore the repeats, done that. And continue till you got it, which is what I said before, isn't it? Done that. So a chief examiner has 112 exam markers on the team. She wants to check the quality of the marking, describe how she could obtain a, a random sample of 10. Uh, so, so we're going over here. So we've done two. Obtain a list of all 112 exam markers and assign. Each of them a unique number between one and a 
112. Use a random number. Generator to select an exam marker. No repeats. And keep going till you got 10. So then we've got stratified. So it says the population is divided into mutually exclusive strata uh, and a random sample. And the proportion is the same as the population. Now you've done this at GCSE. And like a standard question is you've got 250 people in year seven, 250 in year eight, 250 in year nine. And you want to get a sample of 50 people in total across those year groups. So you do it in terms of proportions. Uh, so this says identify the strata, find out how many of the population will be in each strata. Use the formula above to select the number for each strata and then use the random sampling method. So you've got to go back to that bit up there then to do it, and that's important. People do the setup, but they forget to do the using the random sample. So let's have a look. So, uh, our secondary school is revamping the library, need to buy new books. Ed wants to survey 50 students to work it out. So that's going to be, uh, so this one will be 200 out of the 830, times by the 50 people that I want, so proportion. And that gives me 12.04, so I'm going to go with 12 people. You can do similar with the others, so like the next one, the 180, out of 830 times 50, which gives me 10.8, so I'm going to round that up to 11. If I repeat that process, I'm not going to do it on the the calculator or you know work it out every time but I should get that now check it just check if you add them up that should come to 50 so just check that just in case you've rounded down too many times and you've got 49 or rounded up too many times and got 51 so just double check that to be fair it generally works its way around doesn't it Right, what's next? Systematic sampling. Now, I'm up to eight minutes, so I wonder if I should stop there and start again.